Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can make a tape measure Yagi. Now this particular one is um, set up for two meters but you can make them for other bands. Um, 440 would be smaller and um, I don't know I wouldn't recommend trying to do a 10 meter one of these because um, <laughs> I just don't think the uh, tape measure elements will hold up. But um, as you can see, mine is actually made out of wood lat. Now, a lot of people use PVC pipe. Now, that works, um, but it costs money if you don't have it. And I had a whole bunch of this wood lat laying around, so I just constructed it out of that. And then on the handle down here, I've got it held in with two nuts with wing nuts. So I can take the handle off, roll the elements up, put a rubber band around them, and then take the handle and stick it on the back side and use a couple bread ties. And you could put this thing in a backpack, or normally I carry it in the back seat of my truck. It fits behind the seat real nicely. Once it's all folded up and don't see it, doesn't take up any room. Now in just a moment here, we'll get, uh, I've got a schematic uh, drawn up to show you the different lengths for the elements and the spacings and stuff. So we'll get to that in just a moment. But another thing I did as well is a lot of people will run their coax directly to the driver element here. And what I've done is put in a connector so that you can take and connect your coax of whatever length you want to use. If you're hand holding it, you can use a short one if you're going to build a little uh, tripod stand. So you can get it up a little higher. You probably want to use a longer one. And you just, of course, need to run from the connector you have to whatever type of connector you've got on your radio. I and mean, I've got my little uh, realistic HTX202 here. Very reliable radio. Radio Shack um, even sold the, these radios under their brand name. All right. Um, now, I've seen the main reason a lot of people build these is for fox hunting. Um, where you're finding the hidden transmitter. Uh, actually, I built mine for emergency communication. If I'm out somewhere in my truck or I'm out hiking and there's no cell phone reception, you bring this in your HT and, um, well, there's a good chance you're going to be able to get a hold of somebody. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it folds up really nice. But, yeah, you can use them for the fox hunting, but you can transmit on these. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Um, after you construct it, you know, just take and do a normal SWR test and make sure you have it up, you know, at least like six feet off the ground. Because when you're holding it, you're going to be transmitting. You're not going to be holding it down like this. You're probably going to reach up and hold it up as high as you can. So just uh, use your regular SWR meter and um, to tune it, you can just adjust your two elements here. Uh, the hairpin match doesn't really affect it too much. Um, all right, uh, well, let's go over. I've got a schematic uh, I've drawn up on the computer, and we'll take a look at that. So I'll catch you back here in just a moment. All right, <clears throat> I've got the uh, schematic here I drew up, uh, brought up. Now, before I forget, um, you can find this this um, little schematic here that shows the spacing and the links of the elements. Plus I have a fully written out description of how to build this, um, which will go into this in more depth than what the video will. So you're definitely going to want to go here and feel free to print it out or um, you could just bring it up on your tablet or whatever, but printing it out makes it easy. But uh, yeah, you, you can see here I got a full description on how to build this. And whether you're using the wood lat um, or you're using the PVC pipe, the only difference is with the PVC pipe, instead of using the screws to hold the elements on, you're going to be using hose clamps. That's the only difference. Spacings, everything is still the same. So all right, well, as you can see here, I'll just go over the links and the spacing real quick is um, our reflector is 41 and 3 eighths of an inch in length and then you center it on your uh, your lat or your PVC pipe 
then from the center of the element to the center of the other element is going to be 8 inches. And this is your driver element. And these are both 17 and 3 quarter inches. Now when you start out and put them on, um, about 3 quarters of an inch to an inch spacing. And then you're going to have to adjust. Um, that's, this is how you adjust your SWR, is by adjusting the spacing right here. And this is also where your hairpin goes on. And in the written description, it tells you how to make the hairpin. It's super simple. Now from the driver to the um, director element, from center to center, is 12 and a half inches. And then this element is 35 and an eighth inches. Now as you can see, this is a real easy project. Um, when I built my first one, I think I had like an hour into it. It's really easy. All you need is a tape measure and some wood lat or some PVC pipe and hose clamps. That, that's it. You could probably, if you had to purchase everything, including a cheap tape measure, if you went to your dollar store or unclaimed freight, you'd probably get the tape measure for around a dollar. Then your PVC and hose clamps and stuff, probably around, I'd say, 10 to $15, depending where you go. But that's uh, all there is to it. The rest of it, I'm going to leave um, you to go ahead and go check the website out. And like I said, in the description below, you'll find a link to this page. And it shows you everything here. Here's a picture of how the hairpin goes on. and Here's a finished picture of it. And also I have um, another, you can find a link to it on this page. I made a little attenuator if you were going to use this or fox hunting. So you could zero in on the signal a little better. So you can find information on that as well. And that's another super easy to build project. All right. Well, with that, I think uh, we'll wrap this video up. So I would like to say um, thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.